Yeah, I can admit, I totally just bought this one for the color. So this morning I'll be trying out a new mask from Biore. This is the Whipped Nourishing Detox Mask with Blue Agave and Baking Soda. So I only really bought this mask because of the color. I thought it was blue and cute and kind of fun, which is really not the best reason to buy skincare. So I picked this up for $11.99 and you get 110 grams of product. I'm not sure what that translates to in ounces. Um, so 110 grams ends up equaling 3.88 ounces. And if you're new to my channel, one of my favorite products to review are face masks and the link to my playlist will be in the description box below or you can click right up there. Also, if you're enjoying this video while watching it, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out with the weird YouTube algorithm. If you'd like to know more about this mask, don't go anywhere, just keep watching. So one of my issues with my skin is uh, dryness. My skin typically leans more on the drier side. So this mask says it's great for combination skin. So it's not really designed with my skin type in mind, but I bought it anyway because I wanted to see if it was any good for dry skin. And on Biare's website, it says, experience an intense, cool, pore tingling clean. Specially formulated for combination skin, this creamy mask helps eliminate impurities, lifting away dirt and oil to purify clogged pores. With natural baking soda, known for its ability to deep clean. So for ingredients, there are a mixture of good ingredients and not so good ingredients for dry skin. And uh, there's a couple of bad ingredients for all skin types in here. So the first main ingredient is something called sodium cocyl isol isothionate, I think I said that right. And it's, um, it's a fatty acid that's from coconut. And basically what it does is it helps water cling to dirt and oil. So the next ingredient is glycerin, which is a skin replenishing and skin restoring ingredient. And what it does is it doesn't really moisturize your skin. It helps hold water up against it and this leaves it feeling moisturized and hydrated. The next ingredient is salicylic acid, which is a skin exfoliant. It's not necessarily a bad ingredient, but it's probably not the best ingredient for my skin types as it can be a little drying. There is unfortunately fragrance in here. I have no idea what this smells like yet, but there is from the looks of it quite a bit of it. And there's also menthol and there's quite a bit of that in here too. And I'm not too terribly thrilled about it. Menthol is basically what's in Vicks VapoRub. It leaves that ice cold, cooling, refreshing sensation on the skin. It really depends on the product for me, but I find if I leave something with menthol on my skin too long, it can have the opposite effect. And the last ingredient is something called agave tequilana. And apparently this is supposed to be good for fine lines, but the only sources I can really find on this ingredient are from other blogs. They're not really the most reliable sources. So I'm just gonna take that one with a grain of salt. So how to use, massage a generous amount evenly onto the face, avoid eyes, chill out for five minutes, um, the mask does not dry or harden. Rinse thoroughly with warm water to remove. Use a wet cloth if desired. Maybe use two to three times a week. Avoid eye contact. So although there is fragrance added to this, it's extremely mild. So I'm just gonna use my little mask paddle brush thingy. If you use face mask regularly, I highly recommend picking up one of these things. It just makes the whole application process a lot less messy. I have no idea what the consistency is like. We'll just start. Okay. So that's what it looks like. It's pretty thick. It doesn't look like it's going anywhere. Yeah, I can admit, I totally just bought this one for the color. So the consistency of this is uh, almost like shaving cream. It's kind of like a whipped moussey formula and it's spread pretty evenly. My God, that's bright. So I can kind of feel the menthol now. It's not too overpowering for me, but if you have super sensitive skin, this might be one to avoid. So the time is 1.59. So I'm just gonna go and try and relax for a little bit and I will see you in five minutes. So the time is 2.06. I should probably get this off before I have any sort of skin reaction. 
I just wanted to give a quick update before I run into the bathroom to rinse this off. The menthol cooling thing has definitely intensified. So as I said before, if you have like more sensitive skin, this is probably one to avoid. So far, I don't find it too overwhelming. I don't feel like my skin is burning or anything, but who knows what's waiting for me underneath this blueness. So I'm just gonna go rinse this off quickly and I'll be right back. And I'm back and my skin feels minty fresh and I'm, whoa. You know, when I was looking in the bathroom mirror, my skin didn't look this red, but now that I'm out in natural light, I'm looking a little sunburned. Um, so obviously uh, this one did not agree with my skin. So I typically don't have sensitive skin. So for something to react like this on me, uh, yeah. Especially right here, like my whole forehead is bright pink. So this could be from the salicylic acid, which is an exfoliant. I've never really had other acids have this kind of effect on me, but I've used products with lactic acid. I've used products with glycolic acid and none of them have ever left me bright pink before. Surprisingly, this mask did not dehydrate my skin. It actually feels okay. It just looks not too great. So at this point, I can't say that I would reach for this one again. Um, it's not necessarily a bad product. It just probably wasn't the best for my skin type. If you don't have sensitive skin or you don't have dry skin, this mask might be okay for you. But if your skin typically is more on the drier side or on the sensitive side, this is probably one to stay far away from. I've been sitting here for a couple of minutes since I've last rinsed this off and it's, I'm still like pretty red all through here. And then this side is actually not too bad, but for whatever reason, this side, it's left quite a bit of a red splotch there. So if you have any questions about this product, just leave them in the comments section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe before you leave. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.